Highway leaders Melbourne were made to lick their wounds after their bruising 2-0 win over the Roar at Suncorp Stadium last round. The physical encounter came at a heavy price with eight of the 15-man squad nursing injuries. Melbourne and Newcastle had tasted defeat just once in their past six games, earning them the distinction as the league's inform teams. The victory's imposing home record, coupled with an army of 28,000 adoring fans, would make the Jets' mission a more difficult assignment. Melbourne reserve keeper Eugene Galekovic earned his second league start after Michael Theoklatos failed to recover from a back strain. Injuries to key defenders saw Steve Pantelides drafted into the back four, while Mark Burns was handed his first start of the campaign at left back. Christian Sakis and Adrian Caceres provided the width in midfield. Defender Steve Eagleton was promoted to the Jets 11 following a calf injury to Andrew Durante. His inclusion at left back resulted in a slight defensive reshuffle that saw Jade North partner Paul Ocon in central defence. Attacking midfielder Milton Rodriguez ousted Mark Bridge. Calling the match at the Telstra Dome was Simon Hill and Robbie Slater. This is Bretman teeing up Fred. Fred running at the heart of the defence for the Jets. Archie Thompson across the face of goal. And Danny also couldn't get there to apply the finishing touch. Well, that's where they're so dangerous. When Fred p p picks up that ball, when he's between the midfield and the defence, and he's able to run at the defence and pick out Thompson, and Thompson, a very clever run there, also went the other way, picks him out. He's not shooting, he's just whipping this across the face of the goal. And Steve Eagleton was very wise to let it go past. Alessandro to Sarkis, and then... Bretner pumps it forward, Alessandro continues his run, he's in behind Jade North, real chance for victory, great save by Nachevsky, best chance of the first half, and the Jets are grateful to their replacement goalkeeper. Well, it was just a long ball through, Jade North coming across, maybe better play the percentage game there, but he gets a lucky bounce, Alessandro goes to chip, he stays big, Nachevsky. He doesn't go to ground too early, as a wonderful save. Here's Danny Olsop testing the Jets' defence. Rounds one, rounds a second. Danny Olsop! Oh, wonderful skills from Olsop. And again, the Jets are hugely indebted to Nachevsky. What a run by Danny Olsop. Goes around Paul Ocon, around Eagleton. And that's good goalkeeping again from Nachevsky. Doesn't go to ground, but the pace and skill of Danny Olsop. About revelations of the season, he's certainly been one. Carl. Little dink over the top, Milton Rodriguez scores for the Jets. What a ball from Nicky Carl and a cool as you like finish by Milton Rodriguez. Well, it's a wonderful finish as well, keeps his head. He's holding the ball up, he's just working it. He sees the run of Rodriguez, they get caught square, Melbourne. Rodriguez is on the edge, the six yard bucks on the angle, keeps his head, just slides it under the body of Galekovic. And Newcastle stunned the huge crowd in Melbourne. Here's Charlotte. Now Nicky Carl. Round Vargas. Carl! Oh, great is the crossbar. How did he manage to get it on target from that angle? Wonderful skill again from Nicky Carl. And then driven in low and hard by Thompson and behind. But the Jets so unlucky not to be two goals to the good. And again, it's wonderful skills from one Nicky Carl. Well, it's great movement from Nicky Carl. He bursts into the penalty area in space. You can see what he's trying to do. Just bend that to the far post. Very unlucky as it hits the crossbar. And Danny Alsop's gone down with a cramp. Meantime, here come the Jets through Griffiths. Oh, that's a wonderful stop from Eugene Galakovic. At full stretch. Yeah, great play from Joel Griffiths. Driving into the penalty box. He's got no other option, really. He lets fly, and that's a great save from Galakovic. Newcastle looking the more likely to get a second, rather than Melbourne getting an equaliser. It's a fascinating battle developing. This is Brebner. Bre oh, Brebner, and it clipped the base of the post. Well, it seemed to move in slow motion. And the Chiefs could just seem to move late. It's half a yard, Brebner. What it had was direction, and it struck the bottom of the post. And that should be just about that, as the Newcastle Jets will try and eat up the last few seconds. 
before they save up a very, very important three points. I was a bit nervous to start off with when I got out there, but I was very keen to get my, my hands on the on the ball for the first time, So, and that settled my nerves a little bit for the rest of the game, so it was good. Certainly created lots of chances, a lot of good play. I was happy with the defence, um, um, but uh, towards the end of the game, we just went a little bit flat, and that's really not good enough.